All right, so for once, a regular detail for you guys. This is a Ford Edge. I'm very familiar with this customer. Previously, she had a Jeep, and that was a Jeep, I think it was, I think it was a Sahara? Sahara, Sahara? I'll, I'll link it below. That was a really good video, too. But this one is a new car for her. They did like a new car prep detail, but she knew better. She knew that it wasn't really that good. So first thing, call me, go ahead and get this thing done. So yeah guys, a Ford Edge, but not just a Ford Edge, uh, a regular detail. This hasn't happened in quite a few videos. I've been smacking out paint corrections one at a time, and since I found the proper format to record paint corrections, I've been really, really, really enjoying sharing those with you. And here we are with this Ford. Now the rain was kind of hit or miss with this detail. It was kind of sprinkling sometimes, kind of not, kind of overcast. It, it felt like a winter day. I live in Florida, we don't get those, but it, from what I remember living in Sweden as a kid, it felt like a winter day. And the owner just bought this. This car as I said before but it's been a couple weeks of driving before it got brought to me so there's definitely some extra grime built up on the paint and we're here today to get it completely cleaned we're focusing on the exterior in this video so go ahead and sit back and relax I'm using some Adams iron remover on the wheels to make sure they're decontaminated to a degree and make the cleaning a lot easier and then I'm following up with some Meguiar's D101 all-purpose cleaner diluted two to one to make sure it has some nice bite to it before we move on though if you guys really want to take a second and help me out go ahead and press like for me and if you like car detailing content go ahead and press subscribe and if you ring that bell, you know, every single time I upload. Sit back and relax, and I hope you guys enjoy this one. The plan with this car is to go ahead and do a very thorough pre-rinse just to make sure we can get as much debris off the paint as possible. And then we're going to go ahead and follow up with a foam cannon with some Meguiar Shampoo Plus. And then to follow up with that, a lot of follow-ups here, we're taking some more Meguiar's D101 all-purpose cleaner with a boar's hair detail brush and going through all the little nooks and crannies of the vehicle to make sure that all the grime is completely taken away. And with this car, it's white so the grime sticks out quite well and trust me, you can definitely see it going away as we're going through the vehicle it's very hard to see on camera just because it's a white vehicle on camera but trust me we really needed to do this step
you're wondering while watching the foam cannon process why this side wasn't foamed down and the other side was and I thought I saw that side, that's only because I actually go through the detail in steps and then whenever it comes to editing I compile everything in order as I go through. So while you guys see me foaming every single side of the car all in one sitting, I'm actually doing one side of the car at a time with foaming and then going through and making sure everything's brushed and then rinsing it off and moving on. But you can kind of see all the grime especially when it came to the gas cap area. You could see it there and the front bumper as well. This was something that was definitely needed for this specific detail, especially on a white car. You can't just get a, a new car and then look into like little crevices and see little dirt marks or like little pieces of grime and just, uh, you can't have that. Hand washing on a white vehicle is probably one of the most important steps of the detailing process because of the dirt that is sitting on the surface that has to come off. And I also suggest using a shampoo with a lot of lubrication such as Meguiar Shampoo Plus. Adam's Iron Remover, probably one of the best products you can get for the price and the quality of product. With this being a white car, iron fallout is going to be something you definitely see on the surface and you're going to see it by seeing these little tiny rust sparks, these little, these little tiny orange little specks all the way across the paint. And there's two ways of getting that out, that's with an iron remover such as this or using a clay bar, but with this detail I chose to go with an iron remover. And I am so glad we did because this paint bled purple and that's how you know the product is working whenever it starts to bleed purple. You definitely see it with the wheels a lot, but with paint you probably don't see it all that much unless you have a car that's very filthy.
Now as for a coating that is going on this vehicle, I am using Griot's Garage's 3-in-1 Ceramic Spray Wax. If you guys watched my videos in the past, you guys know I love this stuff specifically for cars like this. Cars that have gotten a very thorough exterior cleaning need some protection, and this is the kind of car that deserves something like the Griot's. I really like this stuff. I highly recommend it. It lasts a decent amount of time, I believe six to eight months or so, and the hydrophobic properties are everything you would expect from a ceramic coating. It makes the paint super slick, super hydrophobic, and it lasts UV protection. Protection. I mean, it really is a good product. And not just that, it makes cars gloss. The gloss you get from this stuff is just unreal compared to a lot of other spray ceramic waxes that I've used in the past. It's very simple. You just spray onto the surface. A little does go a long way. And then you wipe it thoroughly and then flip the towel and make sure you buff off the excess. It's pretty dummy proof and it's really, really, really a good option to put on the paint of your car if you're looking for something that lasts a decent amount of time and gives some nice gloss to it. Squire's hyper dressing is what I am using on the black plastic trim pieces at the bottom of the doors, the side skirt, the front bumper, the rear bumper, all that stuff, and I'm also going to be using it as a tire dressing. It's these little steps right here, like the black plastic trim, that kind of just brings everything together and makes it look great. And it really does. This Ford turned out looking fantastic. This is how it should have looked whenever it left the dealership. I mean, if it's a new car, you want the person to love their new car and just so how just see how nice it is, right? Like I don't know, that just seems like something that should should be the norm. <laughs> Either way though I'm not bashing anyone the customer was extremely happy with the car and as was I and it just looks fantastic but with that being said guys we have reached the end of the video so if you really enjoyed it please go ahead and press like for me and if you like car detailing car shenanigans car guy stuff turbos going to car events and all that go ahead and press subscribe and go ahead and ring that bell to know every single time I upload I should have a vlog going up here soon to show a little car event we had going on and I'm also going to tale of the gator this weekend and I'll be recording that as well with Hudson as my co-pilot so stick around guys I will see you all next week with another video and i hope you have a great rest of your week or weekend this is going up on friday i forgot i waited like 10 days so i could re-regulate -re my schedule to friday uploads app whatever i'll see you guys next week see you